Hey guys, Captain JJB84 here, here at the movie review of Rio. Uh, Rio is not made by DreamWorks or Pixar, duh. <coughs> it's made by a company called Blue Sky Studios, and this is their sixth film. You know, that Blue Sky did uh, Ice Age, so, and uh, those made a ton of money. Um, films directed by Carlos Saldana, who directed the, uh, other Ice Age movies and um, <coughs> and uh, and yeah, he kind of just wanted to tell a bit of a story of his uh, homeland, I guess, because he's from Rio de Janeiro. Um, anyways, the movie I really liked. Um, uh, there was a lot I really liked about it. Um, one of the things in particular was uh, the characters. Uh, well, let's go into a bit of the plot first. The movie starts off in some jungle near Rio de Janeiro, where you see a little, where you see little baby blue, a blue macaw who can't fly, watches a bunch of birds flying and singing. Though he's quick, though he falls out of his cage, but is kidnapped by a bunch of smugglers. He's taken to Minnesota somehow. And meets a girl named Linda, played by uh, Leslie Mann. And I don't know who Leslie Mann is, but she's not bad looking. <laughs> no, I just saw a picture there on Wikipedia. Um, her name's the she names a little macaw Blue. And then <clears throat> we see her life through the fi through fifteen years. Uh, Linda owns a bookstore with Blue, who's played by Jesse Eisenberg. But Blue, throughout the years he's lived with Linda. Uh, can't fly. <laughs> yeah, so he's kind of, yeah, he's kind of out of it. <laughs> he just can't fly at all. Um, it sucks if you're a bird. And one thing I should say, I really like birds. Uh, well, I have a huge thing for birds, is what I'm saying. So when I saw this movie, I'm like, oh god, I'm seeing this. Same thing with a. Uh, uh, Legend of Guardians, so, um, yeah, so, and then all of a sudden, this scientist named Tulio, um, tells Linda, oh, you're, uh, Macaw, he's the last of his kind, we need to take him to Rio de Janeiro, because we got a female, the second, well, the second last, the last male of his kind, um, so, yeah, now they gotta get him to there, so, yeah, um, Uh, and then he goes there, and then he meets Jewel, played by Anne Hathaway. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, Blue falls to her, but she's only interested in escaping. It it's funny how they meet. Um, uh, Blue's put in this giant sort of, uh, forest-like area, you know, contained. And, uh, <clears throat> and he sees a uh, Jewel coming down, flapping her wings ever so elegantly, I guess. I don't know. And then he's like, why does she look like she's about to... Oh, God! <laughs> Sticks her uh, talons on his neck. Oh, God. And apparently she speaks... Do they speak Portuguese in Rio de Janeiro? I don't know. Uh, let me figure that out really quickly. Yeah, so... Anyways. Uh, Blue has a thing for her while Jewel only wants to escape. And... Uh, Yeah. And, uh, so they let them... So, uh, Linda and Tulio let, let them be for the night. But during the night, the shelter's raised... The bird place is raised by smugglers, because they're in a... Like a... Orth orthonologist? Uh, people who study birds. And, uh... Yeah, and, um... The smugglers also have a bird, a cockatoo, Nigel, played by... Jameen Clement, who looks like he's a singer or something. And he's been in a couple movies. He's also been in The Simpsons. And Dinner and Despicable Me. Okay. Um, so yeah. So now they've been kidnapped. Again. <laughs> uh, and then, but the but little boy, uh, but they, but, <laughs> yeah, so they're pretty much kidnapped by this little, this kid who, for these three smugglers, and, you know, the kid's like, you know, he doesn't have any parents, he's just living on his alone, alone so... Uh, 
Yeah, he's just kind of... He's just doing it for money. Um, so, but... And then we meet Nigel a little more. He even gets a villain song. It's a fairly good song. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <coughs> then, the two escape. But, oh yeah, they, uh... The smuggler chains, uh... Uh, Blue's right foot to, uh, Jewel's left foot, so, you know, you know, they have to fly together, but, because Blue can't fly, but they don't know that. Um, uh, and, then they escape, and then they're in the forest now, but, but Blue can't fly, and being chained to a bird who can't fly sucks. So they stay in a little, looks like a cabin for the night. Then the next morning they meet a George Lopez and a bunch of uh, toucans who try to kill them. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, so he offers to help them. Um, and uh, he's going to take them to a person who can, uh, you know, get rid of the chain. Get uh, rid of the chain. But uh, Raphael is also going to teach Blue how to fly. He's got to feel the rhythm in his heart. And he tries... So the two try to fly, but... <laughs> just as about to jump off an edge, they kind of get scared. <coughs> um, and, uh, you know, we get this funny... We get a little funny bit. But uh, that's one part where they're sitting on a hang glider, and Blue thinks he can... And they're just sort of sitting there for a minute. Blue thinks... Maybe I can fly. So he stretched out his wings, but with wind currents being as they are, he goes flying off. And then, and oh god, these birds just get beaten to death. I mean, like, they're always smashing into things. And then even after this, they get hit by a beach ball and then go flying into a surfboard. Ouch. I mean, that, that's going to kill somebody. Uh, what the hell is he? Um, so yeah, uh, and, uh, in, uh, uh, so yeah, and then at one point the little kid meets Linda and Tulio and tells them, oh, here's where your birds are, but at the same time in Rio de Janeiro, a big festival called the, the, Carna the Carnaval is happening, so, yeah, and then they meet these other two guys, well, they're early on in the movie, One's name is Pedro, played by Will I Am. The other guy's name is Nico, played by Jamie Fox. Nico is this little yellow bird with a uh, like a soda pop can on his, a soda pop uh, cap on his uh, head. And uh, Will I Am, uh, Pedro is this kind of big, overweight, uh, red chest, red crested cardinal. And then they take them to a uh, party. Yeah, because why not? And then Nigel gets a deal with some monkeys to help them steal them back. And the monkeys attack the birds, but they fight back. <laughs> um, uh, so, and then they get into the carnival. Uh, so they eventually get to this, uh, what Raphael was talking about. Um, Louise, who can uh, cut the chain. A bulldog, played by Tracy Morgan. And he's apparently a chainsaw professional. And, uh, but, you know, the chain doesn't, the thing doesn't, the chainsaw doesn't cut through the chain. Uh, it's actually, he's a big drooling dog. D disgusting to look at. And, um, his drool, you know, moistens their legs and, you know, gets them out of the chain. Blue's happy because now he's free, but, you know, the, the th there's a few scenes, there's a lot of scenes throughout the movie where, you know, the two got closer, closer. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, Blue's kind of like, oh, I can't fly. Hmm. Well, this sucks. Julia's happy that she can fly. Yeah, um, I kind of feel bad for Blue. I mean, not being able to fly, can't be the girl he wants. And, uh, yeah, um, so, anyways, uh, then the two get into a bit of an argument, saying that, like, you know, I didn't even want to come here, now I can't fly, now I can't do this. And then the two, yeah, the two get pissed at one another. And, uh, <laughs> Blue says, I hate Pedro, I don't like it. He says, I hate Rio, I don't like any, 
the songs they have here. They're all the same. It's like do 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 do. And I, I think he was meant to say I hate I hate you or something, but <clears throat> I don't know. I think Jewel took it that way. You know, she gets sad. And uh, Jamie Foxx and Will I Am go after Jewel. Uh, Lopez goes after uh, Blue. Uh, Lopez says to uh, to Blue, you know, I'm not going to Carnival. My family, I chose my family over that. Yeah, because he's got a family of like about 15 and one on the way. <laughs> um, so, and then while Jewel's flying, she's sad, she's crying. She gets kidnapped again by Nigel. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, and, yeah. So, and then she's being put into a float by the three guys in the carnival. Just, just in a cage inside the float. Um, so, uh... Blue goes after her, but somehow Linda and Tulio got on the one of the big floats where they're dressed as macaws. <laughs> There's a lot of funny moments. Um, and, uh... So, yeah, uh, they get... They get to Jewel, but unfortunately, Blue also gets captured, and so does Rafa, and so does Lopez, Will I Am, and Jamie Foxx. And then being put onto a plane, um... Linda decides to ram the plane with a float, but fails. Um, <coughs> but, uh, on the, so they think, oh, is that it? But no. Blue, being smart, Blue's a very nerdy type bird, um, man, manages to uh, set up this thing with a fire extinguisher that rips open his cage and frees a bunch of other birds and stops the, the door from the pilot to the cargo hold from opening. Very interesting setup. And uh, all the birds escape, but, you know, they're kind of like 200 feet over water, maybe. Luke can't fly. But then Nigel comes out and uh, injures uh, Jewel. Her wing gets caught under a crate. And then, uh, but uh, Blue takes care of him. He uses the fire extinguisher and a bungee cord, and he gets hit into a propeller blade. Ouch. And then, uh, but Jewel falls out in the process, and, you know, he needs to save her, because, well, you know, 300 foot drop into water, and, uh, oh yeah, the plane's also gonna crash, so, <laughs> um, so, uh, he needs, like, he's like, I gotta save her, so he, he remembers that memory he had when he was a kid, when he had jumped out of the tree for the first time, so he had that memory, goes after her, wraps his wings around her and says, I can't live without you, we're on that never-ending chain. And then Jewel's moved by this, and <laughs> yeah, uh, gives him a quick romantic moment, and he realizes flying's not what's up here; it's what's in here, and down there. <laughs> and then uh, he wraps his talons around uh, Jewel's uh, body and flies to land. And they meet back with Linda and Tulio, and uh, Jewel gets healed, and the three, and the two have three children. And we end uh, <laughs> with another song and dance. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I really liked it. Uh, that may be a little expansion on the plot, but, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I really liked it. Um, one of the biggest highlights, I think it's very, very colorful, I mean... <clears throat> and in each shot, like, you know, they try to get as many characters in as possible, and a lot of other stuff, so, you know, it really works. And, uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, so it's, uh, I really like it. Um, and, uh, I would recommend you go see it. The 3D worked really well, surprisingly, for once. Um, and, uh, you know, the characters are very good. The voice acting's good. Um, I'm going to be generous give this a solid 8. The supporting cast is also really good. And um, the animation, you know, it's not like Pixar or DreamWorks. It's kind of very crisp and clean. Um, so, yeah, that, I don't know not really a problem, just like, you know, that's just the way the animation is. So, yeah, I really liked it. Um, 
Uh, if you want to go see it, go see it. And, uh, you know, if you have, like, younger brothers or kids, go see it. You'll like it. And, uh, yeah. 8 out of 10. So, that's the review. See ya.